Yeah, bro, my demon out, it was in the cage. I ain't gonna lie, it's safe to say, I'm seeing better days. They gotta come on with no feels, no minimum wage. It do a die, put in the sky. Ladies and gentlemen, Southpaw Promotions proudly presents a four-round welterweight attraction. And it's all proudly sponsored by the United States Army National Guard. The referee in charge of this contest, Malik Walid. And now for the formal introductions. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 139 and three quarter pounds and wears the solid black trunks. He is a 10 fight veteran that hails from Atlanta, Georgia. Introducing Joe Gibson. And his opposition across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, scaled in at a trim and ready, 140 pounds even. Tonight, he wears the solid red trunks. His record, a perfect one. Four wins, zero defeats. Three of those victories came by way of stunning knockouts. Hailing from a Picayune, Mississippi, here is Malcolm, bad news, Barnes. All right, hold up. Oh, we ain't rumbling right now. Relax. Okay, fellas, you both have been giving the rules. I'm expecting good, clean boxing. When I say break, stop punching. Take a full step back. Remember, protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Touch gloves. Good luck to you both. <laughs> All right, Eddie, we're back. Bout number five on the evening. The last one went quicker than expected, but about as expected with Quintarius Chapel in the body shot. Joe Gibson, the seasoned veteran coming in against Malcolm Barnes, the rising star out of Evo Fit. Here Both we go. Fighting in at 140 pounds. Both fighters starting out with a lot of energy. Nice jab coming in from Malcolm Malcolm showing no respect to Joe Gibson, none. He's keeping his hands low, look at him. There's a little right hook to the body coming from Mr. Barnes. I think that was a low blow. That was blow. another body blow. He was waiting for the referee to stop it. I think that was a low blow. I don't know if that was a low blow there, Billy, but uh, this was a bad camera angle from my side, but it looked like yeah, it was yeah, pretty. Yeah, yeah. Phil, what did you see there? Was that a low yeah, blow? Yeah, it, it looked low to me, for sure. Yeah. He, by, by rule, he gets up to five minutes here. What I don't want to see is restarting too quick. Just to, just to restart the fight. But here he goes, Joe Gibson, the veteran, restarting, timekeeper. Both fighters touch gloves, coming out, showing respect. I think Malcolm, by doing that, knows that he probably was a little bit low. Obviously, unintentional. That there was missed. a nice hook. Oh, Malcolm. Dorian Dawson staying in there. No, uh, Joe Gibson. Joe Gibson, I'm sorry. Barnes, the quicker of the fighters. Joe Gibson keeping that right jab out there as both fighters laying against the ropes. Joe's not afraid to mix it up. He's been, he's been in there before, so, so, some legit guys. He looks good. Yeah. Something funny about Joe, when I first met him, he had dreads that were probably 24, 28 inches long. They came all the way down the middle of his back, and he fought like that. <laughs> well, he's definitely moving a lot faster now without those dreads. Yeah. There's a little Very one, nice one, combination. one, two by Gibson. One, two by Gibson. No power on it, but they landed. 
Pollen with the jab. Malcolm's timing that. Watch Malcolm. So here again, you remember the first fight with, with uh, IK and Evan? We IK had, and Gabriel, yes. We had Southpaw and Orthodox. Here we got it again. We have Gibson traditionally in the Southpaw stance right now. Barnes, watch the feet place. Watch the foot placement. For Gibson, he's got to keep that right foot wide, keep it out. But he opens himself to that straight right. Barnes with that over right hand came through. There's a little short uppercut by Gibson. Nice jab. Uh, There's body, a nice body watch. blow. <laughs> to continue the theme of the night, body shots. Malcolm Barnes is staying on the body right now as Joe Gibson is staying upper with the jab. Joe Gibson swings a couple of times and misses as the bell rings. All right, we, we go to the corner here. So you're in Malcolm Barnes. You're Tony Willingham right now. Eddie, what are you telling Barnes? I'm telling Barnes that he needs to control himself, slow down, and stay focused on pinpointing his shots. He needs a little bit more accuracy because, as you can see, um, Joe Gibson is still moving around, which is making it harder for Malcolm Barnes to actually hit his target. 100%. 100%. Now, on the flip side, if I'm in Joe Gibson's corner, I'm telling him, hey, be patient. That's right. exactly what he needs to do. Pump, pump the jab, but do it double. Double pump it. Don't just throw it out there and paw. Throw it, but then... Throw another one. Exactly. Throw a combination. Single shots don't always get it. You need to throw multiple shots in order to score, especially when you're fighting a fighter like Malcolm Barnes that knows how to move around the ring. Both fighters are still doing great. Let's see if Malcolm Bad News Barnes took the information from his coach trainer, from his trainer, Coach Tony Willingham. Both fighters are steady. Joe Gibson sticking his jab out. He's staying patient. He's lanky, so he's got the reach advantage on Barnes. He just needs to keep his head off, off center line. I don't like him going straight back. No, he just missed him there. Barnes still going for the body with those right hooks. So the danger. And there's a good body shot with another left hook coming to the top of the head. Yep, they, they exchange blows there. The longer you leave Joe Gibson in a fight like this, the more confident he becomes. And you can see, you can see it in his face. He's not afraid of Malcolm. He Barnes. sure is, and he's not backing up at once. Not oh, nice left hand. Just that was a right as, blow coming there that. from Malcolm Barnes. Another body shot coming from Mr. Barnes. Barnes has great ring awareness. You know, as you said earlier, Billy, Joe Gibson needs to slow down a little bit so he can focus on his pinpoint of his shots. All right, so Gibson just missed with the straight left, but he came straight. He didn't clear on an angle. He needs to move to an angle so he don't get hit or countered by Barnes. Nice left jab coming in the way from Mr. Malcolm Barnes. And there's a left. A short left hook landed on, on, on Gibson. Malcolm ducking away from the jab. Malcolm doesn't doesn't respect Gibson. He's having fun. He's keeping his distance. It looks just like that. He's just in there dancing. But fans like that kind of a style. They, they want to see some entertainment value with the with the fighters in the ring too. I agree with you, Billy. When a fighter has that type of confidence, he can go in there and play a little bit. But he can't get caught short. He must stay focused. There's another right body blow. as Joe Gibson steps forward with that right jab.
What did you think about that spin around there? <laughs> <laughs> the look on Joe Gibson face when he was spun around that ring. Like, what are you doing, man? Come on. <laughs> Hey, Phil, what do you think Paige's blood pressure is right now? Yeah, it's pretty high, I'm sure. I'm sure he's dying. We are here boxing tonight in Atlanta, Georgia, Southpaw Promotions. Eddie Love, myself, Phil Covington, we're sitting here at the commentator's table. But, guys, we're sports fans. And I'd be lying to say if we weren't paying attention to Tennessee, Alabama. All my <laughs> Alabama, all my Tennessee fans back home, my wife over in the ticket booth helping out tonight. I know she's watching, panicking. Gotta be. 49-49, third and 10, Alabama right at midfield. A first down away from a field goal and winning it and breaking everybody that wears orange's heart. Here we are, back to the boxing. One, two, lands by Barnes. But Gibson says that didn't hurt me. Malcolm Barnes is moving a little bit like Sugar Ray Leonard here from me. Look at that right. It wasn't solid, but it landed. And it got him off balance. Barnes keeping that left jab out, but Gibson returns a left jab. Hart. Malcolm Barnes continues. Barnes. There's One, a body two. shot. He's got putting it. the heat on. Joe Gibson clinching. That's what he needs to do. Another right. Oh, and there's down. a knee. All right. That is a knockdown. Malcolm Barnes. Barnes doesn't need to be doing that on top of his opponent. Throws a right body blow to Joe Gibson, but definitely he should have a little bit more courtesy there. Referee warning on Sportsmanlike. Malcolm Barnes again with the right. Gibbs is not going anywhere, though. He isn't. He's standing toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but Malcolm Barnes is ducking and throwing those body shots. Keeps putting Joe Gibson up against the rope as he takes another knee. Come on, Joe. You got it. Get up, Joe. You got it. Joe, get up. I don't know, guys. It looks like he might be winded. What, what did he – what's the referee call timeout there for? They call another low blow. I, I missed it if there was one. I didn't hear a low blow. I thought it was a knockdown. The referee called timeout. He's not counting, so it's not a knockdown. Yes, you are correct. I'm a little confused with what we got here. Joe Gibson with a right jab. And a left. Malcolm with a that, connection with the left. And big, the right. Big body shot that started that flurry. Joe Gibson oh, in the trouble, but he landed. comes back. That's what happens. You get wild. Gibson, the veteran, clipped him. It's not over yet, folks. Joe Gibson is standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Malcolm Barnes. Barnes isn't coming in there like he just did. He just ate a big left hand. He's showing some respect now. There's another left hook coming by way of Malcolm Barnes. Ten seconds left on the clock. There's a right coming from Malcolm Barnes. Got a little blood. Of 
All right. Three rounds in the books, coming back to four. I anticipated Oscar, or excuse me, Malcolm finishing this fight. Joe Gibson is giving a game effort. He sure is. I thought this fight would have been over a lot sooner as well. But as we sit here and watch Joe Gibson, he's keeping his hands up. He's staying inside Malcolm Barnes' face, making it a tough fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to start round four. In case you missed it, Alabama just missed a game-winning field goal. Tennessee's got the ball right at the 40-yard line, plus or minus a few, with 15 seconds left. We got great fights in Atlanta. We got great football on TV. Got my buddy Eddie Love here. Here we go, round four, Barnes versus Gibson. So that big right hand there got blocked. That just hit his glove. It sounded like it did, but big right hand there by our left hand by Gibson. Gibson has straight, great defense on blocking some of these shots, but he's taking the oh, left. Yeah, it's a black. You can't hit in the back of the head there. You know, that was almost like a wrestling move as he pulled yeah. that head down. Joe Gibson with a couple of right jabs. Barnes going low as the fighters tangle up again. Here we are. Cool. Barnes with a right jab. Gibson with a miss. So, so Barnes shouldn't let that hand go and the fight's over. But he didn't have confidence in it because he didn't want to get Warren to hit him behind the head. But the, he's worried about what's coming after his shot. Yeah, that was a big one that missed. If he'd have done that before. Joe's Joe's holding his own he here. He sure is. He's very got that very proud out. of the effort this kid's given. Both fighters leaning on the ropes again as Gibson regains. Malcolm Barnes with a right to the body. There's a left by Barnes. Gibson trying to find placement for his shot. Under 10 seconds in the fight. We finished four rounds, man. That was a good little fight. It was a great Barnes battle. Barnes dominated two. Gibson held his own in three and four. I think Barnes does enough for the decision win. Yes, okay? I agree with you. But that's a that was a good fight. That made Barnes work. It was a good effort on Joe Gibson's part. Malcolm Barnes is going to fortunately walk away with the win. Great boxing right here from Southpaw Production, right here in Atlanta. Promotion. That's Southpaw Promotion, folks. Joe Gibson, I can't say enough good about this kid. He's fought on Southpaw's cards probably four or five times in the last two years. Always comes and gives a game effort, provides rounds for his opponents. Joe Gibson, proud of that effort tonight, kid. Good job. Malcolm Barnes. Eddie, what does Malcolm need to work on? I saw him in the ring, and in my, my perspective, fundamentally, there's a lot missing. 
I think it's a little wild. I think he's a little wild at this point. He needs to slow down and stay focused and do less showboating. He needs to do more focus on his accuracy of his shots. Wow, Tennessee just kicked a game-winning field goal. Knoxville's going to go crazy tonight. Oh, amazing. And Pat Cronin see the bout in exact fashion, scoring it 40 35. Hold your winner by way of unanimous decision. And still undefeated, Malcolm Bad News Ball.